Hello and welcome to African Brands. I am Ugoke Ifain Chiku. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of the program. Over the course of the program today, we will be spotlighting a lot of African brands, Nigerian brands that are doing well in the country, not just in the country, but the continent and I dare say, across the globe. Kickstarting today's episode with the founder and chief executive of Me Beauty in the person of Juliana Mpa. Stay tuned. Yes, Choco yes. Foods Industry Limited, a premium food company that packages food stuff in different sizes and kilograms at affordable prices. All kinds of foods like rice, beans, gari, kulikuli, tuo, semo, wheat, undiluted yam flour, palm oil, vegetable oil. We also deal in livestock feeds and all kinds of food stuff as you like it. Oh yes, yes. success yes. foods are available in all sales and retails. Visit us today at Joko Foods Industries Nigeria Limited, Lakwa Phase 1, Ibejuleki, Lagos. Telephone. 090-3241-1466 or 081-5359-0992 at Jokol Foods we also package food stuff for exports our social media handles are Jokol Foods at Instagram and Facebook Jokol Foods patronize us today Juliana Mpa, Chief Executive Officer, Me Beauty. Me Beauty is a plant-based skincare and beauty brand that offers wide ranges of products and services to help you glow, repair, regenerate and brighten your skin using natural plant products. Our slogan is Unleash Your Glow. We believe everyone deserves a glowing and healthy skin. So we aim at providing natural products to help everyone achieve a glowing and a healthy skin, irrespective of the skin type or skin tone. Okay, first of all, I'm a certified Moroccan skincare therapist taught by the Moroccans. And I have five certificates to show for that. I believe in natural products a whole lot because I've used so many skincare products that you know they're not really good. So I actually had to go down there, learn about how they use. We all know Moroccans are known for their beauty and their ageless skin. The skin is so beautiful. So I had to learn. How to infuse plants based products, fruits, natural fruits, essential oils into my skincare products to make it very, very, very safe and healthy because healthy skin is the goal. I think less client consultation. Before the COVID 19, people always walk in, see my skin see this that how can you help me but we had to like limit the way people walk in also i noticed before the covid 19 raw materials were not really that expensive after that raw materials became so expensive because i ship most of my stuff everything just shipping cost raw materials packaging everything just grew up so i think yes it affected the business well quality service and um consistency no matter what you're doing, no matter the business you're doing, always put, put out your best. It's expensive to put your best out there, but it's time consuming too. But quality service, integrity, because my brand, my face is on my page. You can walk into me tomorrow on the street and be like, yeah, that's the owner of this brand. So I believe in quality service so that I can be able to be proud of, yeah, that's me, anything, my goals, my achievements and everything and consistency consistency goes a long way it's not easy though but the longer you're consistent the more you have more knowledge and make mistakes and learn from mistakes the beauty sector is growing every day i mean everybody wants to look good everyone's everybody wants to feel good the skin is the largest organ of the body so it represents us whether we like it or not 
so yes everybody wants to look good so i'll say it's profitable it's lucrative but we are yet to tap out of the beauty industry and i'm proud of what everyone is doing I still really helped everyone. This helped our standard of living. That's helped us in business. We can we don't need to we can have online cl classes. We can we don't need to go out there or gather a group of people before we do anything. We can communicate with our suppliers. It has created jobs too. Nowadays you see people stay in their house and they make money. You don't need to go out with your phones internet to make cool cash so yes it has been gone it has helped us in nigeria Hadiza Ibrahim, founder, CEO, Biza Empire. It's a beauty and skincare based company. We offer services such as spa services, skincare products. Our spa services include medical grade spa treatments and traditional spa treatments. We have um, a beauty salon where we offer services such as makeup, nails, lash extension hair care and so much more if you're looking for everything beauty under one roof I've got you our vision is to satisfy customers and make them confident so they can recommend us nationwide and worldwide creating job opportunities for so many people our mission is to ensure that our products are produced and services are offered in a clean, safe environment and also use machines that has no long-term side effects. We are committed to promoting a healthy attitude towards body care and high self-esteem. What makes us unique is our products are quality and affordable, easily accessible and this makes us stand out above every other brand in Africa. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, our access to moving around was limited. We had to use dispatch companies to distribute products to people and use our social media platform to advertise the product and also advertise preventive measures that we take to produce and make products. We had to take to social media to advertise preventive measures we take to produce products and offer services.
Nagana Mala Kachala, founder and chief executive, Sumsum Interiors. We've been in the business for like um, 15, 20 years. Um, we do in interior decos, we do interior consultancy, interior management, we furnish offices, homes, and uh, government organizations as well. To see us as the best interior, uh, interior firm in Nigeria, we also want to see that um, we have branches all over Nigeria. We already have one in Medibi. Uh, we have a warehouse in Maraba. Uh, about five years ago, I started to set up a production factory where we're going to use our local materials like graphia to produce um, mirrors, lamps, you know, uh, and some other stuff. But along the line, I noticed there were some challenges, so I had to stop it, continue this what we are doing. But I feel um, with time, we're going to own our own building. If we don't, once you walk in, I think you're going to pick everything for your house, from the carpets, the furniture, the soft furnishes, and everything. We see us going to another level in the next five years or, or less, by the grace of God. Well, the uniqueness is uh, not just about us selling the product, the customer relationship. And we don't repeat our stuff, as I know. And uh, once I bring it, and um, maybe it's just two pieces. Why is it that you just bought two pieces? I say, I don't want it to be common because I want something that once I sell it, you don't find it anywhere. By the time I see it in the market, I switch to another thing. And tell if it's a vase, if I bring it in gold, same design, next it's going to be a different. I think that's uh, like a signature to us because I believe most people come back to us. They tell me, we go around, we hardly get your product. I tell them, I pick from different countries. And I also point what my clients want. And I always want to get a review from my clients. Once they place their items, oh, can you send me a picture of how you place your item? They tell me, oh, why don't you shift it to this side? If you're bored with this design, change it to the sitting room downstairs and bring it in. So this brings them back. And I feel they don't get the service from other brands. So that's what keeps us with our clients. And I believe that the signature we have and the uniqueness in the business we do, and we build the customer relationship. And I also make sure anytime I have a client, whoever you are, once you have things, I always walk you down to your car, you know? Okay, we'll see you next time. Please send me pictures of your items, let me see this. So I believe um, it's not just about me selling the things, it's about the relationship I build with my clients. So that's what keeps us going. It has, it, it has really hit us hard because uh, during the COVID, I had I had a disaster where my display glass was broken. There was a heavy rain. There were no cells because they, we were all on lockdown when we came in. So I had to get, engage some people to come and fix the glasses for us. While doing that, I noticed um, clients coming in because we couldn't even trust the fund to fix the glass because there was no business for us. So people passing by, oh, something is open. They were just coming in. We're not selling, we're fixing the glasses. So I was like, how are we going to pay this bill? Fortunately for us, through the people coming in, we were able to raise some money to fix the glass. And I noticed um, traveling became an issue to us. There was an increment in dollars. The goods we had, they were on the way. To clear them became something very difficult. So the only thing we were able to do at that time was to sell online, which I know we, we, what we sold online during the COVID was even more than what we were selling because we had to touch our clients. Okay, don't you get bored with this tropilo in the city? We have some and we can deliver it to your houses. So I noticed it really affected us because of the, our rent was, was running. There was no business moving. And uh, my sales representative, I have to send in to amounts of money just to keep them because they don't have anything to do. Yeah.
Truvis Agro Services Limited is, is, is an end-to-end uh, -end service company. We, we play end-to-end -end of the herbs and spices value chain. Um, we own our own farms. We cultivate over 2,000 hectares of farmlands. We created um, a connection with industrial inputs in the Nigerian herbs and spices food market space where we found over time in the past that um, there was so much importation going on so we actually came in as an import substitution alternative to um, what was going on in the market and the system at the time where we were importing close to a billion dollars worth of um, herbs and spices and these are very low hanging fruits like your chilies your habaneros things that naturally grow easily within the environment so we thought uh, there was a space there. We engaged the major players in the space. They, they, they told us their preferences. We tried to meet them, which were mainly um, scalability, um, traceability, and standardization. So we, we ticked those three boxes, and um, that, that opened up the market for us. Well, the vision is to um, of course, as much as possible, create a connection between outgrowing farms and industrial offtake. Um, we believe strongly that development in any society is directly tied to agriculture. So we don't really see agriculture as the employer of labor, but for, as an enabler of employment. What do I mean? We, 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 we want to see a situation where industries are growing out of agriculture, which is the way it's meant to happen. There, there are a number of key industries that survive around agriculture, cosmetic industry, pharmaceuticals, textile industry, and of course the food industry. So if agriculture is able to produce enough input, then the industries would naturally grow around the um, products that you have in a country. In the 70s, 80s, you had textile mills growing rapidly in Nigeria. They were the largest employers of labor, largely because we, we had cotton farms all over the north, you know, so it was easy to connect the two. We think, we believe strongly that agriculture is an enabler of industrialization. So that, that's, that's our vision, and our mission is to um, produce standard quality goods that, can, that, that, that are market worthy, that can go straight into production lines. I think the, the most unique thing about us is our vision. The fact that we, um, we understand what, we think we understand what needs to be done to drive the country forward. If the country truly wants to become uh, um, an, an agri-driven uh, uh, economy. Um, beyond that, however, we, we try to maintain the highest standards possible. So we hold ourselves to very high standards. We, we've, we've, we've put in a number of certifications that are globally acknowledged certifications. We've just finished our HACCP certification. Our Global GAP certification is ongoing. We have a number of international standards that we hold ourselves to. Um, however, we, we, so we, we, we've tried to maintain that, that um, global quality standards in all of our operations, both on the farms and off the farms. 
we've been able to um, increase our our presence in the space by processing so we've got quite a number of product lines that have gone beyond raw production down to processing so we have we have a two-ton ginger washing machine we have two 500 kg dome house dryers where we can dehydrate products we have um, an electric dehydrator we have a 24 ton cold storage facility we have a spice blending machine and all of that so those those investments have promoted and pushed us into the face of the markets quite significantly um, so today you find a number of players in the industry who are actually um, making demands from us and we're, we're, we're able to satisfy their needs because we've been able to to step up the standard that is required in the space so it, it, it becomes easy to to plug into that market so i, I think that that's um, what we've done so far Welcome to Delight Estate. It just came along Lekki Ekpe Expressway, just before Eleko Junction. My name is Festus Adebiso Gunjobi. I'm the general manager of Jubas Property Limited. We have two assets, the commercial plot and the residential plot. You can see the excellent access to the express, brilliant estate layout, serene environment, good road network, CCTV uh, surveillance, and lots more. Also, the title of the land is C of O. Live in affordable luxury at the light estate. Ibrahim Adetuga, Chief Executive Officer, One Million Landlord. So basically, One Million Landlord was derived from um, a particular niche. In 2018, we started the company One Million Landlord. And as I went started, it simply means with as low as one million naira, you can become a landlord. So that's how we got that name, One Million Landlord. So, how come a lot of people asked, how would you just become a landlord with one million landlord? Leave the economy where everything is expensive. Yeah, so uh, when we look at our vision, our vision is to ensure that properties are affordable in high areas of Lagos. That's why we want to make properties, housing, housing free for Lagosians. Not everybody can afford to, you know, bring up 10 million, 20 million to the property at once considering the economy situation. So basically, we offer people to invest, individuals, corporate organizations, to invest in our properties. It has not as one million. You can own a unit of studio apartment. In this part of Nigeria, you know, people are not really familiar with the word studio. They ask, is that, is, is, is that a place where you go make music? I say no. Studio simply means a room self-contained. That's a room, kitchen and toilet. So with one million, you can own a unit of studio apartment for as long as 20 years. So for 20 years, you own that studio apartment. And the beautiful part is, as long as the apartment, you can decide to live there or rent it out as an investor to earn rent from your prospective tenants. So simply means you can take it as a landlord or as an investor. That's uh, basically what we do as one million landlord. No, no, no. The CCTV just captured Androbas trying to break into our storeroom. Oh. Storeroom? Yeah. I secure people and things that I love with one million landlord smart fingerprint padlock. It is shockproof, dustproof, and even waterproof. Quick identification 
and it also has a USB convenience charging. And at least it can give up to 20 persons access. This is the padlock that all my billionaire friends worldwide are using with. <laughs> you got the point now? That is just it. And on this note, we call it a wrap on today's episode. Everyone has a key, it's just a matter of using it. Here at African Brands, we don't just have the key, but we use it. I still remain Ugoke Ifa in Chikum. Join us same time, same station next week. Also, you can send us a mail via info at africanbrands.com. Thank you for joining us.